Hello and a warm welcome to Selhurst Park on what is a very pleasant night for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, Wilfried Zaha, often described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent, and no two ways about that, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Gabriel Jesus a chance to whip it in Partey and a chance Udegaard well the keeper is at the crossbar got in the way fisted clear corner kick played in well as a defender that will suit you down to the ground Getting forward. Effective looking pass. Ducouré. Ezzy in the right place to cut out the pass. Thomas Partey. Granit Xhaka. Getting in there to intercept. He's enjoying space. Are you? Klein. Well timed tackle. Granit Xhaka and the ball back with Crystal Palace now now can they make something happen just cutting off the supply Martinelli Xhaka with it Alexander Zinchenko sends it back and what a close shave it was. <laughs> 
Thomas Partey. Gabriel Jesus. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Ayu. And Edouard with it. Can he play it in? Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Zaha. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Martinelli. Now Zinchenko. Marcinelli, Gabriel Jesus, he knew he had to make the tackle and did. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Well, the stats don't lie, Arsenal had most of the possession, but without really creating too many chances. Which when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Capable of so much better from that position. Martinelli. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Ezzy. And he could really get at the opposition. Zaha. Mitchell, and they'll get ready for the throw-in. How about the cross? Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who can he pick out? He's blocked it! Really getting stuck in. Well, the pass isn't going to worry the goalkeeper. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, Whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Now what can they do from here? Able to get a body in the way. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it might still work out for them. Right over for now, it seems. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, he did have that effort that hit the woodwork, and he certainly worked hard to get into the match. But sure, he could add a bit more quality to his game in the second 45 to have a real impact on this result. Extremely sloppy in possession. Granite Jacka. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Jesus. Jacka with it. Gabriel Martinelli. Gabriel Jesus. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say.
And back underway. 1-0 it is. Oh, tremendous vision. Wilfried Zaha. Ezzy. Gives it a go. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? So the corner played into the box. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Well, he has the measure of his man. Well, I'm not sure who's inspiring who, but the fans and players have certainly upped their game. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save! How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Now sending it in. And a good take under duress there. Thomas. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Can he take the chance? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Anderson, quick defensive thinking, Granit Xhaka. And space for the cross. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Just 15 minutes remaining. Jeffrey Schrupp. Are you... Schlup. Klein. A really top notch piece of defending. Good work from Palace to win back possession. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Chance to cross. Another classic example of how to intercept. Hudson Edouard. Jordan, are you here? Great block. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, in the dying embers of the game, but Arsenal still full of life, a most enjoyable performance. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Mitchell. Saka, Thomas Partey. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Martinelli. Chance here. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. 
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, it certainly was a terrific performance from Gabriel Jesus. Stuart, keen to find out what caught your eye most of all. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? 